All right, so got kind of a fun little project that I'm working on here today. One of the, uh, a very nice gentleman who bought one of my uh, seven inch mini lathe conversion kits has asked me to make a uh, CNC control box for him. So I thought, hey, why not? I'll, I'll make a few control boxes. We'll see how this goes. So I am going to try to cut out the uh, back panel for the CNC control box. So very simple, just took a really nice, super high quality piece of uh, joined it uh, pine here, uh, made a fixture out of it. So just put two holes through it, T-slots, T-nuts, put it on the table, milled a pocket, and made a couple of uh, little homebrew toe clamp type of things here. And there it is. It's in the little pocket. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot and well, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to try to start out going uh, pretty slow here because I really have no idea how well this is going to cut. All right, hey, so that was a lot of fun. Um, now I understand why people with uh, CNC routers uh, seem to be so happy. <laughs> so yeah, that worked great. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, engrave some letters on this thing and, and finish it up. Here we go. So all finished, uh, it came out pretty good. The engraving um, probably would have worked great if this were a uh, piece of aluminum or a piece of metal that I machined. The uh, plastic doesn't sit exactly perfectly flat here in my little fixture. It twists and bows a little bit. It's probably not perfect, you know, coming out of the box. So I found, uh, depending where I was at, I got different depths of engraving. But you know what? It's, it's legible. And that's all that, all that really matters. So, so there it is. Um, worked pretty good. Used uh, one of these uh, 10 degree carbide engraving tools. Those things are sharp. Be careful when you're handling those. And uh, so you can use your, your milling machine like a router. All right. Thanks for watching.